For the past several months, I've been uploading reviews of each of my G.I. Joe classified action figures in my collection, uh, starting from figure 00 Snake Eyes up to number 32 Barbecue. And those were all filmed back in late February into early March of 2022. Uh, I was uploading one every few days throughout the spring into the summer. Well, now fast forward to mid-July. 2022, and I have finally received another G.I. Joe classified action figure. This is one that I ordered a long time ago, and it's very late, and it almost didn't get here because uh, the distributor shipped it to the wrong state. I'm very lucky it's here today. So we're going to look at figure number 38, Crocmaster. It's a deluxe figure, and we'll, we'll see why. Now, we're just going to have to wait to review figures 33 through 37. Those are still MIA. Those should have already been here along with this one. I don't know what's going on there. We'll just have to be patient and wait for Hasbro and or uh, the distributors to get their acts together. Okay, so Crocmaster. Now, I did not possess this figure in three and three quarter inch scale when I was a little boy, but I was aware of it. And I would uh, easily recognize this as that character. I don't know if the uh, outfit is identical. I don't know if this is just an upscaled version of the classic uh, three and three quarter inch uh, Crocmaster, but... Looks very, very close. It's all there. The uh, croc skin vest, the rebreather connected to his black mask here, and of course his accessories down here, which we'll talk about. Nothing not to like here, folks. A neat looking action figure and a good reinforcement for Cobra. Uh, right now, uh, G.I. Joe Classified, at least my collection, is very uh, good guy heavy. Because, well, let's face it, more than one-tenth of the Classified series is Snake Eyes figures. So that they, <laughs> it's, it's good to have some to balance out uh, uh, the bad guys to face off against the good guys here. So, uh, good articulation on this figure. We've got boot swivel, we've got hip swivel, we've got uh, ankle rock, which I'm not going to mess with too much on, because, as is the case with all G.I. Joe classified figures, you mess with the ankles too much, you risk making them loose, which will cause them not to stand up properly. But, happy to report that this one is standing up just fine without a stand, but I'm going to put them on an action force stand, just for consistency with all my others at this point. Uh, yeah, excellent figure. No no issues with sloppy paint jobs on it. Uh, it looks good. It looks really, really good. And uh, But I think the star of the show is still down on the table here. Uh, yeah, you can see his ear beneath the mask. That's a nice touch. They, uh, they did a good job on this figure. Now, the uh, accessories he comes with, he's got a knife here in his, his uh, boot knife sheath there. It's hard to get in and out. Very, very tight fit. Much tighter than the beachhead uh, knife and sheath, but... As you can see, some paint application on the handle there. That's all right. That's a, a step in the right direction for Hasbro as far as this series goes. And he has a revolver in his gun holster here. Uh, I mean, that's that's all right. I mean, it's 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 not action force, but it's it's still all right. You might be able to see that the uh, even the holster with no paint applications does have a croc skid texture on it. Great job. Really great job. I, I love praising a job well done here, and I'm happy to do so. So, yeah, great figure. Uh, I really dig this. It's going to look nice in the collection because, you know, I've been looking at the same 34 figures for a long time. So, uh, yeah, it'll be nice. He's got some good ab crunch there. Swivel's fine at the waist. All in all, a really neat figure. I, I really dig this figure. Okay, but uh, he comes with a lot more accessories. I think we'll start with this stuff. Uh, for a weapon, he has a bill hook. That's very menacing and imposing. Otherwise, all he has is that sidearm. Well, and a crocodile. And we've also got a whip that's made out of a very soft plastic or rubber. And you can you can put it out like this, but it's always going to go back into this shape. And that's okay. It'll be nice for display. And if you're really looking for a, a, a good supple whip for this, this guy, you might look at the uh, Batman Returns Catwoman figure from 1992. Kenner, I think, put those out. Uh, that whip will do anything you want it to do, okay? Uh, it's probably about as long as this, but certainly not as thick. Okay, nice paint applications on the whip, too. I have to say that. Again, I have to praise the job well done here. And comes with this leash on a chain. It's more than obvious what this is for. Uh, there is some texturing, some leather texturing. There on the, the, the leash. I appreciate that. Pretty sturdy. I mean, it's bendable. I wouldn't bend it too much, though, obviously, because it is still made out of plastic. It does have a handle. That's, that's all great. 
And he also comes with these two tiny, and I say tiny to scale, these would probably be around two feet long, uh, baby crocodiles. They uh, do have textured plating there on their backs. That's great. And paint applications on the eyes and teeth. Nice job, I have to say. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. And now it's time to uh, have a look at the star of the show. Uh, I don't know if this has ever happened before. I don't know if a, a fully articulate crocodile action figure has ever been produced. Possibly. But uh, they really hit a home run here, folks. So, uh, I mean, even if this was just a display piece, even if this is just a, a statuette or a figurine, yeah, this would still be pretty cool. But, oh no, you've got full range of motion here with this. Look at that. Look at the jaws right there. The jowls. Or the, uh, the gums right there. That is awesome. Okay? That is great. Now, we've got ball joints all through this thing, so we've got a huge range of motions with his action figure. Okay, we can do gator rolls <laughs> if you want to. We'll talk about the tail in a moment. The uh, legs themselves, the, the, you don't get elbow bending. There's no articulation at the elbow, however. Uh, you've got a ball joint there at the shoulder and the uh, hand or the foot, the claw swivels. And that's true on the back legs as well. Now, the uh, tail is made out of rubber, okay? And it's got bendy wire in it. You see the little holes there through that, so you can pose this the way you want to. It also does come off pretty easily from the ball joint, but that's not a problem, folks. Uh, it'll only do that if you want it to do that. Otherwise, you've got a great range of motion. You can do your tail slaps, and again, this is a very, very poseable thing. I mean, just look at that. Yes! Yes! This is this is why you're, you're buying this figure, really. I mean... The, the Croc Master's fine, but here's the star of the show. Just like what the Snake Eyes and Timber said. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to slowly have, build a, a zoo with the G.I. Uh, Joe Classified uh, series, and I'm okay with that. Uh, I like this action figure better than some of the G.I. Joe Classified action figures themselves. So, yeah, they, they really knocked it out of the park with this one. Now, was it worth the wait? Well, sure it was, but it would have been nice to have gotten this in a timely manner, along with the scalpers on eBay and the influencers on YouTube who didn't have to pay for them. Um, and, of course, with the Walmart store employees who enabled the scalpers by opening the boxes early and purchasing them at, at, with their employee discount and selling them on to the scalpers. And or are the scalpers themselves. Sure, I'm salty about that, but there's nothing I can do about it. In the meantime, I'm just happy to have a new G.I. Joe figure in the collection. And... I really feel like the course correction has set in. Thanks to Action Force, thanks to the arms race that has begun, I really feel like the G.I. Joe classified line is finally headed in, in, in a good direction. If only they could get the things to the to the customers who pre-ordered them a long time ago. That's the problem right now. And then that's this is not the, the video to talk about that. But, uh, you know, when I get the Alley Viper and the Battle Android Trooper and Spirit, Storm Shadow, and the Cobra Officer, I'll, I'll, I'll do reviews of them, folks, but I can't do that until I receive them. Not to mention all the Target exclusives, uh, the Python Patrol and uh, Tiger Force uh, figures that um, uh, God only knows when they're going to get here. But when they do, we'll review them, okay? All right, thank you so much for watching, pals. Talk to you again real soon.